Uh-huh. Uh, wow. My goodness. Are you trying to fart? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in my life. Now this video was actually filmed pre-quarantine, so you'll actually see us out and about a little bit. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Nikki. I have made so many of these day in my life videos, so if you like these and you're in a binging mood, I'm gonna go ahead and link the playlist down below. I basically just share everything that I find beautiful, inspiring, just share worthy in general. Give this video a thumbs up if you like like this video or these kinds of videos. And with that being said, let's hop right in. All right, so we're starting off this video in my bathroom. I love Caudalie. I have been a fan since, honestly, possibly before my YouTube channel. I don't know, it's been a long time. Their products are more natural, plant-based products. They smell amazing, they're super effective, and my skin just feels amazing with every product I've ever tried from them. Speaking of brands that I love, then I pulled out my Josie Marin Argon Oil. Now, I've mentioned in previous day in my life that I developed a rash around my nose about halfway through my pregnancy, and it's still not gone. It's going away, but it's still kind of there. And this is what I found through a lot of trial and error feels the best on my rash. Then I used this Caudalie Facial Mist Toner. This stuff feels amazing. This might be the first Caudalie product I ever bought back in the day. By the way, they sent me these products, so that's why you're seeing a lot of them, but I legitimately love this brand. Dan will vouch that I was like squealing with joy when this box arrived. So this product specifically, Vino Perfect, I had forgotten about it, but using it again, I'm remembering how effective this serum is on dark spots like hyperpigmentation. It feels amazing and I honestly feel like it delivers pretty fast results. Then I use their eye cream, which I don't really have any kind of review around that, and then their Vino Source Moisturizer, which is a super hydrating cream. Now after that, I tried out this Honest Nipple Cream because my nipples have been through a lot, guys. I'm going to talk about all this in my upcoming breastfeeding video. Um, but yeah, I used this cream. Since then, I'm not using it. I've decided that just letting breast milk air dry on my nipples is the better route. You didn't need that information, but there you go. Um, better route for me and my skin. But yeah, so then I had washed my hair the night before. And if you watch my videos, you've seen me do my hair a million times. But the way that I like to do it is I let my hair air dry. And I already have like a naturally wavy, crimpy kind of hair. So once it's air dried, I take the parts of my hair that are straighter and not as wavy, or maybe I don't like the texture, and I add curls into my hair that way. So it's a really messy, I guess we could say effortless, that sounds fancy, um, look, but I love it, it's quick, um, and that's what I did. So then it was time to pull my room together. Normally, I actually like to have my bed made before I even get up and like going for the day. Pause. This pump, I think this is called the Spectra S1, and this pumping bra from Target are amazing. This is kind of my main pumping situation right now. Like I said, I'll be talking about that in my video. I actually use two different kinds of pumps and I am still breastfeeding as well. Um, but yeah, okay, wow, making the bed. I normally make it right when I wake up, but I didn't this morning, I wanted to get ready first. Um, I'm not like super strict on that, but I don't like to go through my whole day with my bed unmade. I like to end my day going back into my room and like having a welcoming bedroom. I like to do at least one load of laundry every day because that way it makes it so that my laundry is never like out of control. Then I decided to diffuse this blend called Joy in my bathroom. 
And then here's the uh, hair and makeup cam. <laughs> I am thinking I wanna do a talk through, by the way, of my current makeup routine. I showed a picture of my like face with my makeup on Instagram, and a lot of you guys asked for that, so I think I'm gonna do that soon. Um, but then I rolled on my all-time favorite essential oil blend called Valor from Young Living. By the way, if you ever have any questions or you want to look into purchasing Young Living essential oils, I'm actually a distributor so I will link my essential oils Instagram account down below and you can feel free to send me a message over there and we can chat about oils and if it's your time to get on the oils bandwagon then I can help you out with that I love my oils um okay now different subject this is my post bump shot now side note I have actually recently started since I shot this a postpartum pelvic floor core strengthening workout so I'll be sharing that soon because so far I'm really liking it So this week, my brother and sister-in-law and nephew came to town to visit. If you watch all of my day in my life, so you've literally watched him grow up. <laughs> He's so cute. And then if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw Logan in his bear outfit. What makes me kind of sad is that this wasn't filmed very long ago and Logan has actually grown even bigger. And I know that by looking at how he fits in the bear suit. <laughs> Oh, there were a lot of video games played while they were in town. <laughs> Have you guys ever noticed that when you kiss a baby, one kiss is never enough? You just keep wanting to kiss them. Oh, sorry, Logan. <laughs> They're just so sweet. My sister-in-law and I were talking about that. We were actually watching that baby's documentary on Netflix and they were talking about how oxytocin is removed when you kiss your baby. So taking proactive steps to cuddle with your baby is like good for you. And Marlene and I just thought that was so sweet. By the way, Marlene is pregnant with our niece. She's due in like two months now. Now at this point, we were not on quarantine yet, so we went out to lunch with some friends, and you know that I had to drink a Ningxia Red packet on the way. Now, we're actually not using these bottles anymore. I have so much to tell you guys about. Um, but on this day, I brought the bottle with some milk, and then I also brought my hand pump, which I'm still so mad at. That will be part of the story as well. I basically sprained my wrist using that thing. But anyways, I brought it with me in case I had to pump while we were out. And then at the restaurant, Logan and I hung out for a little bit, chatted. Um, his little onesie that says perfect was a gift from Marlene, my sister-in-law. She actually has an Etsy shop where she does custom onesies and t-shirts and stuff like that. So I will link that down below if you want to check out her shop. And yeah, then I just sat and chatted with Logan. Guys, I find myself talking to him literally all the time. And I'll be like, oh, he doesn't understand you, Nikki. Like... <laughs> stop talking to him so much but then I'm like no I look into his eyes and I see his soul he hears me he feels me so um yeah it's just super sweet and I always just think about how I never knew before I was a mom just how sweet this was going to be Now, if you've seen my other day in my life so when we're hanging out with family, you know we play lots of card games. Actually, we don't play lots of card games. We play a lot of one kind of card game, Pussoy. Isaiah obviously can't play, so sometimes the boys will like appease him and play their own fake little card game. <laughs> Now on this day, I dressed Logan up in basically one of our favorite onesies given to us by our friend Kendall. Yes, that is Bowser on the front and it says Big Brother and it makes my heart explode. And then I put him in his light blue sweats, which his eyes are blue. And so blue colored clothing makes his eyes just pop. Um, 
And yeah, I'm just looking at this footage thinking about how cute he is. By the way, this swing looks like entirely different now because we drape fabric in it like a bohemian fort swing. <laughs> If you watch all my videos, you know that Nashville was actually hit with a tornado a couple of weeks ago. And so the day after the tornado, Five Daughters Bakery, which is my favorite sweets bakery in Nashville that I highly recommend, um, they were giving away free donuts to everyone to cheer everyone up. Tell me more, dude. You want to tell me more? Mm. Oh. Uh-huh. Wow. My goodness. Are you trying to fart? Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, mommy loves you. Mm. Mm. Yeah? Oh. Wow. How'd you know? Mm. Oh my mm. goodness. <laughs> this is too much fun. Are you trying to make mommy's heart explode? Mm. Yeah? <laughs> oh my goodness. I literally can't handle oh my it. Goodness. My heart hurts. Um, so I used to film Essential Rewards unboxings here on this channel. Essential Rewards is basically a loyalty shopping program through Young Living, which is the company that I buy my essential oils from. They sell some other like products as well, including this CBD muscle balm that I just got this month. And I'm so excited about it because I am a huge proponent of CBD. Okay, so I feel like the peanut butter chocolate dates are like my video's new version of avocado toast. <laughs> I know, I just keep having them, but they're so good. Julie's actually sent me over this huge box of dates as a thank you for being in one of my other recent videos. I had purchased their dates because their reviews on Amazon are so great. And like I said in that video, these are delicious. So I just cut open all the dates, take out the pit, mix together that nut butter, as well as these little extras just to like amp up any extra nutrition I can get. And then once I did that, we actually separated it into two batches because Dan wanted some and I wanted some. So in mine, I used these Enjoy Life dark chocolate chips and I chopped them up to be even like smaller chocolate slivers. And then we each stuffed our dates. So mine had chocolate chips in the nut mix as well as on top. And Dan's, he put white chocolate in his and then he topped his with hemp seeds. In my recent day in my life where my mom came to town and showed us how she makes her chicken noodle soup, we became so obsessed that we've been making it regularly since then and stocking up our freezer. So we had a pot of this on the stovetop this night. Oh, so good. How cute is his little onesie? When I show this on Instagram, I get lots of questions. So if it's not sold out, I will link it down below. Now, my tower garden was starting to get overgrown and I'm working on new seedlings to plant, like for a new crop. As you can see, I have some seedlings starting to grow and I needed to clear space, like transport some to the tower garden, kind of just reorganize because we just got our spring garden starter kit. So all of our little seedling cells, as well as our seeds that we are going to plant this year from Baker Creek. I'm super excited to see how their stuff grows because people rave about this company.
These shots, by the way, are the seedlings that I'm going to be transplanting into my tower garden soon. And on this day, I also planted a couple more chives and cilantro. Now, as I was mentioning, parts of my tower garden are overgrown and really the part that was overgrown was my parsley. So I decided to literally just do a haircut on all of the parsley plants and then take some of them out because these plants are almost thriving too much. Like I don't want that much parsley and I'd rather free up space for other greens or herbs. So I cut all of the parsley down and flat. This stuff grows so fast, like it's grown back since then. And while I was trimming, I was watching one of my current favorite YouTube channels, Eat, Move, Rest. Um, and yeah, I was just listening to their stuff while I trimmed my parsley. Look at how much parsley I have. Logan was with me, by the way, while I was working on my garden and listening to the videos. He was kind of going in and out of a nap. By the way, this is the bottle that we switched to this week and it's working really well for us so far. Like I've said 12 times, I'll fill you in on all of this soon. And then I got this random shot of of these chive roots. I did not know roots for chives would go that deep, um, but yeah, these chives were delicious. All I have to say is I love my tower garden and I love that we're learning more about gardening in general. So I made my way downstairs with all of my herbs and I decided to wear my belly bandit. I have not been super consistent about the belly bandit, not gonna lie. And my stomach does kind of have quite a bit of ways to go with recovery. So maybe I should have been wearing this more, I don't know. Like I said, I just started this postpartum recovery so I'll be sharing that with you. Um, but yeah, once I took all of the leaves off my parsley, I put it in a Ziploc bag to store in the fridge to wait until I could like decide later what I wanted to do with it. So um, at this point, I decided to clean off some tomatoes with my Thebes fruit and veggie wash because I wanted to use some of my leftovers to make this pasta salad. So I had leftover chickpea pasta and some leftover tuna. So I threw that in a bowl with some of my balsamic vinaigrette dressing, the tomatoes, parsley, and then I had a side of this chipotle lime salsa. This is such a weird combination of food, I realized that, with my siete chips and an Asian pear, which is basically just a hybrid of an apple and a pear. Kind of just tastes like, yeah, like if an apple tasted like a pear, that's what this is. to jump in and say these shots break my heart in the best way possible. <laughs> I can't. Alright, so we decided on this day that we wanted to make some more lasagna. We have still been doing freezer cooking, so like we're eating from the freezer cooking, but then when we want to cook, we just make more. So I decided to make this vegetarian lasagna, and I actually pulled those sun-dried tomatoes out of my freezer. If you watched my freezer cooking video, you know that I bought a giant jar of sun-dried tomatoes and froze them into cubes for later use and they thawed perfectly and then i had a little bit of leftover basil from when my brother and sister-in-law were in town and really the reason i wanted to do this was because i had a bunch of veggies that needed to be used up specifically a lot of asparagus so i cut up all the asparagus um some zucchini mushrooms onions garlic and I sauteed them in this pan with some avocado oil, pepper, and pink Himalayan salt. By the way, I added this onion powder and garlic salt as well. I know I already had onions and garlic in there, but when I saw my mom cooking, I was like, oh dang, she uses a lot more like spice than me. And so I'm gonna start experimenting more, I think, with 
spices. I need to get like my spice drawer in order in general. Um, but yeah, after I had sauteed all the veggies, I ended up throwing in the sun-dried tomatoes as well as the meat that Dan had cooked. I'm pretty sure that was like organic free-range bison that we got from Costco. By the way, if that looks watery, it's because I always add water to my jar at the end to get like every last drop out of my pasta sauce jar. And afterwards, we let it completely cool down and then froze it into single serving pieces, just like we did in the freezer cooking video. Another company that sent me a bunch of stuff is this company called Wetter Spoon, and their big thing is like Manuka honey. So they sent me these Manuka honey drops, which are delicious, these immunity gummies, which are also delicious, and then possibly my favorite product, this apple cider vinegar. It's really amazing because they also add Manuka honey and a little bit of juice to it, but it's got apple cider vinegar with the mother. So I basically put a splash of this in some ice water and it's delicious and it's a way for me to get apple cider vinegar in daily. Random, but if you're looking for cleaning inspiration, someone that I've been watching a lot lately is the Fly Lady. She actually reminds me of the Joe Bennett character from The Office. She would probably hate to hear that because she hears that all the time, but um, yeah, she's awesome. All right, another baby cam shot. Here's Logan in his dinosaur onesie in his Moses basket. Now, since then, we've actually bought him a pillow that we call like a flathead pillow. You'll see it in an upcoming video. It's to help make sure the back of his head doesn't get flat from lying only on his back. Um, but yeah, random. I also ended up breastfeeding him and I pulled out my hawker to do that. And then I had actually gathered enough milk that day that I decided to create a freezer bag. I have slowly built up a couple of bags in the freezer. I'm not really trying to build a huge stash. I will talk about this, um, but I, I do like having a couple of backup bags for a myriad of reasons that I will elaborate on later. Um, but I was really happy to get a bag in the freezer on this day. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you're all doing okay during this quarantine period. And I'm hoping to be back here soon with more videos that can hopefully encourage you in your day to day. If you're still listening to my voice, check my info box, because if you didn't already know this, I do kind of like semi-secret giveaways, basically every single video as a way for me to say thank you to you guys for your support of my channel. I love getting to make these videos and just share life with you guys and what I'm loving and what I'm doing. And I'm just so happy that you guys watch and I appreciate it. So check that out and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'm sending you all a hug from my microphone right now. And that's all. Okay, bye.